Welcome back, team. I'm now going to be showing you some things that I see on Bitcoin, as well as things I see on USDT.D. Let's get right into it. Before we continue, please remember that everything you see in this video is not trading or financial advice. It never is. It's not investment advice either. These are merely just for educational and entertainment and comedic purposes only. Remember to eat your red crayons for breakfast like I do, but if you do, you're probably crazy, so read between the lines. This is my disclaimer. I love that in Bitcoin, you don't get these price, price gaps, but you do with USDT.D. Gaps in prices can be huge advantages to seeing price action and the truth about price action. So watch out for those things here. Lots of them can be very telling signs. We'll save that for another video. But what things do we see? What things are coming up? Well, I do see some resistances coming in on USDT.D. Now, bear in mind, I did invert this chart. Now, there are a few ways we can draw these charts. If I connect this top to this top in just the wick area alone, I would draw it about right there. Uh, there's more accurate. You want to be as accurate as you can with your wicks. Because it's a wick, I will turn it to dash. I'm going to put this as a, as a red color because I'm expecting it to act like a resistance. The other line I would draw would be at the core points. Here and there. Look at that. Very interesting. We'll draw this as a blue or a green color because it acts like support. Because it's a core line, I won't be drawing the wicks. You can see that price has jumped up through this line, sat on top, and it's now coming back up. You're not going to pay attention to the red color on this because red actually means an up bar. However, will there be some resistance? I believe so. I believe we're actually coming to some resistance, even though we have some support. Let's extend that line a little further. It may come in handy in the future. Another thing I want you to know is I ran a calculation on this line here and this line here. They sit as supports. If we need a support again in the future, which I believe we're going to get, I think price is going to do something like this and sit on these lines or sit on this line right here and then come up. This would have an, a similar effect on Bitcoin. Here's some things to note. If you were looking at this leg in its entirety and you were wanting to figure out what was happening with this leg and where the times to sell would be, it was very easy if we used this chart. Simply draw your core, po your core points. Let's start here at the extremities and just draw a basic trend line connecting these bottoms. See, these ones right here. In this area, the root of the move is very important because everything else is built on those and sometimes has a phantoming effect. But if we are being very accurate, we would see an easy truth. Have a look. By drawing at the core points here and the core points here, as accurate as we can, giving us support here. Look at this. You can see a wide swing underneath price. Up, 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 up bounce. And then we came through, came underneath on top of that line and a change of behavior, immediate change of behavior. These are the kinds of things that I'm looking for and paying attention in, in price. As you can see in Bitcoin, that run was not so easily seen. But what day did price fall? Again, May, May 6th, May 10th, we knew about this. But with Bitcoin, on May 10th, it seemed to happen almost out of the blue. People lost a lot of money. Wouldn't you have liked to have known what was happening with Bitcoin before it happened? These are the charts we need to pay attention to. And if Bitcoin fell, then what also happened to XRP on May 10th? Let's take a look. XRP was a little forgiving on May 10th. We had a drop to about right there from $1 and fifty and one dollar sixty cents as the high, and the low one dollar and twenty four cents, a drop of almost twenty five cents. 
Wouldn't you have liked to know that before it happened? Now, luckily, we came up for one last gulp of air before coming all the way down. It's almost like these things were planned. If you're just tuning in, go ahead and watch my other video where I'm explaining these types of things. The video that was just filmed before this. So I do see some support at these areas. These I can't give you prices because they don't make much sense unless you're following USDT. I will give them to you now. $3.29 and $3.39. Remember, you're probably looking at an upside down version of this. So the lower we go, the higher prices will, will, will appear because this is an inverted special chart. I will point out that a lot of these things may seem confusing to you, but never fear because that's why I'm here. I'm a technical analyst. I draw on price action to determine future actions. I also am a trader. That means I'm in and out of the markets. I don't fall in love with the trades and neither should you. Remember, these videos are not for everybody. Some people who are following me are investors and holders only. So when I tell you XRP is going to the moon, it is going to the moon. But the path there is going to have a lot of ups and downs and it's going to be very volatile. I'm getting lots of emails with people who are confused about these kind of things. Remember, if you're having confusion, you need to understand first what type of trader you are. Are you a trader who's buying and selling just like I am? If so, you guys are probably following a lot of my similar actions. When I say I'm buying and I'm selling, it's because I'm doing it out of trading. When price goes down, I'm able to accumulate a lot more XRP. When price rises, I'm able to make XRP profits. I'll also take profits at various points. I don't buy and sell only, even if I know XRP is going to the moon, because I am a trader. And sometimes I'm taking positions. I don't sell all of my XRP. I have a separate holding just for XRP in case we have activation but I keep a majority of my position as trading profit. So I'm in and out using that bag of money rather than my investment bag of money because I know XRP is going to go to the moon. I'm also expecting a big crash with Bitcoin. But before we have that crash, that big crash, which is not now, but before we have that very big crash, you'll know it. Prices will have a very big boom. I believe we're going to experience some very high Bitcoin prices and very high XRP prices up to $12 in the beginnings and then even much higher after uh, some profit taking, we should say. Before I continue with what prices we are expecting, I'm going to explain a few charts for you and hopefully that's going to help you understand what I see on Bitcoin right now. With Bitcoin, I do see a major resistance area and we are in that resistance area. By connecting these bottoms, I was able to see a parabolic movement. That parabolic movement gives me the zone of the sword cut. By extending that sword cut, I can see when price comes to that move, that area, we should be looking for resistance or we should be looking for price to break above and to sit on top of that line, so to speak. This is, again, on the daily chart. So each one of these candles is a daily candle. I know it's very blurry in this picture, but you can I'm using this very zoomed out view so you can see what the overall picture is happening. Here's another chart that may explain this a little bit better. This zone right here filled with buying and selling comes to a head. And the people who lost are now looking to take some of their profits. And the people who missed out on their opportunities are more than welcome to buy from those people. So it will create a lot of volume and a big change at this area here. What am I expecting? I'm expecting moves back down to the resistance level that was created from this top here. We already had one bounce. And that bounce was at the core area, which is the bottom solid blue line. We may get another bounce on the wick area. If it hit it today, it would be something like around $44,000 on Bitcoin. But if we hit it in, um, in, in September, it could be even lower. With each day that passes, that number will get a little bit lower. So if you're still concerned about those things, you can always sign up for my notifications. I have a chart room. You can click the link in the description and get instant notifications every time I'm posting a new chart for various cryptos, including XRP, Bitcoin, now USDT.D, and other cryptos. You're going to see those kinds of things. Sign up cost uh, a donation of any dollar amount. You can give what you think it's worth or just give a dollar or thousand dollars. It's up to you. You'll sign up for that membership and be instantly notified when I'm recording an audio, if I'm on the go, or if I'm posting a video, I'll post it there. And uh, you'll, you'll get an instant notification right on your mobile device to see when I'm buying and when I'm selling. So if you, uh, some people, they don't have anybody in their corner showing them how to read charts. That's how I got started showing my charts. I wanted to keep these charts a secret. I wanted to keep my techniques a secret. And I wanted to charge $1,000 for my course uh, when I create my course, which it's in currently in development. I wanted to only share these things with traders who understood the value of these things. 
But I think the season is now that I'm needed. People need to know what's happening. And there's not a lot of people out there who are in touch with people from the prophetic community, people who are in touch with the intel community, people who are in touch with uh, a lot of the, uh, the, the things that are happening behind the scenes with XRP. Um, and there's kind of not a middle person who's explaining these things to you. And so I started a group uh, as part of the chart room and, and here I am. Um, and now we have, uh, we have over 500 members in the Telegram community group who are, who you, which you can sign up for. That link is in the description too. And you can sign up for free to get my notifications about XRP and Bitcoin. Um, but I will be placing all of my charts and all of my technical analysis charts that I make. I draw on price so you can just simply follow my arrows if you're following me. I can't account for every type of trader there is in the world, but I can tell you when I'm buying and when I'm selling. It's never financial or legal advice. But if you're curious as to what I'm doing, then go ahead and sign up for a membership. Again, it starts at just $1. Here's a look at Bitcoin on a daily chart. Take a look at this. We can see that Bitcoin came to this area, the sword cut zone, and it's now coming down. Here is what I expect. We can either come to this first red line and then bounce up. We can also come to this red dotted line at approximately 43,173 and then go up, which would be a big drop. Or we can come all the way down to this area, 40,930, uh, 930, and then we can come back up. But am I so sure that it's gonna go up? Well, I really think we are. And I'll show you why. Take a look at this. Here is that same chart, but I have drew this line a long time ago because we see a pattern here. And when you see this pattern, you draw it. It has strength to it. See this trend line? It's been holding very strong and it's been very powerful. But if price ever breaks below this trend line on this indicator, it can be a very positive thing. And we broke through and very high. We went right to oversold area. But now, we are in oversold area. And if price ever comes back down to that line, it did not forget. I think that price is going to come down and it needs to come down and it needs to fall. Bitcoin is oversold and it needs to fall. But if it falls before it can go higher, it needs to fall. If it falls, I believe the RSI line will fall to this level. And whatever day that does hit it, we don't know if it's going to be tonight or tomorrow, but it shouldn't be tonight. This is a daily chart. Each one of these lines takes quite a bit to form. But when it does fall, RSI will slowly get to this level. And when it gets that level, it's like a fat man jumping off a diving board. That's a very strong diving board. It's going to launch him or somebody running off a slip and slide about to slide really high. Whatever analogy you like to use, there is a powerful thing that's going to happen when this person jumps. It's going to be quite a splash and we should be going up. But we're not there yet. Look at Bitcoin. We need to fall from these heights and bounce somewhere. And we need to fall somewhere. Where are we likely to fall? There's a few places we can also fall. The peak up here, which again is still in that range, just a, a little above 40,000, but we need to fall. This is in alignment with some things that we're hearing from the prophetic community. Tomorrow I'll be making a special video, our dreams collection number five with my wife. We're going to read you guys some dreams and you're gonna see some dreams that people have been having about Bitcoin. And I'm gonna share some things uh, and, and also speak on some of these things as far as commentary. So I hope you enjoyed that. And then also me and Melody tomorrow will be reading the Bible for you guys. So be looking forward to that. Now you have these charts. So what next? Let's look at our what I will be referring to from now on, the true chart, USDT.D. Now all of these charts I placed in our chart room. Here's some videos. You can take a look at the chart room and some people even comment right here and ask me questions. You can do that. I can't always answer every question, but I'll try to answer some questions from time to time or if I see a question that seems very important or something that I haven't covered in my video, I'll make sure to comment on it. Praying for you. Thank you, Ralph. Here's some charts that I have posted in the chart room. You can click on them anytime. Here's that projection for Bitcoin. Here's it with the RSI, along with some commentary. You won't have to wait for YouTube videos to be uploaded to get access to these things. You can see them quickly and get those notifications the moment I create them. So here's what I see for USDT. Remember, this is inverted. So if the arrow is pointing up, that means BTC, Bitcoin, will go down. And on this one, if the arrow goes down, that means Bitcoin will go up. So what did I draw first on this chart? I see that RSI is on its way to its own line, although this is one's curved. You can see it. Here, have a look. You see how it goes up and down like this? It's curved, but it's still correct. Just because it's a parabolic doesn't mean we can't draw it. You just need some curve tools. 
And now we're over bot area. So I believe we should be going back to the center or back to the resistance. As we come to this area, this RSI will go up, which means for the short term, Bitcoin should be going down. And then when this goes back down, that means Bitcoin will be going back up. But how long will that take? Generally, this should take around two days to approximately two weeks. We need to see how long it's going to take to hit these lines. To be honest, using the speed calculations that I use in some of my other methods, it looks like it's going to be a powerful down move and it's going to happen pretty quickly. These are just my calculations. And these are also in alignment with some of the things I'm hearing from the prophetic community and some sources that I very much trust. People have been praying and sensing some things in their spirit that some things are not right in the market right now. And so we need to be on our guard and praying about all things. Again, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. I don't mind. But I'm telling you what I do. Because remember, none of this is ever financial advice at all. Right? Right? So please, do not hold me accountable for what you do. I can only tell you what I'm doing and the trades that I'm making. So trading at your own risk. And if it's too much for you, remember, it's better for you just to buy, buy some XRP, lock it up in a cabinet, throw away the key, or eat the key until you, next year. And then you can worry. Because... Sometimes trading can be emotionally challenging. And as I spoke in my previous video, the one I did from yesterday, that you do need to conquer your emotions if you're going to be a trader. Remember that. In a nutshell, I believe this RSI is coming up and coming down. I believe that USDT should be going up, which means that Bitcoin should be falling before USD, USDT comes back down. This is a non-inverted version of the chart. It looks very smooth although there's still manipulation. Let's now look at a four hour chart and see what we can see. Since the volume is very flat, this is a blatant sign of something not right with USDT.D. Does that mean that Tether is hiding some things? It's very possible. For now, I'm gonna hide volume so we can take a look more closely. What things do I see? Let's draw them out. Now, because I love to use my crayon, I sometimes take a picture of charts and then I can draw on them. Draw on them. If you have uh, iOS, it's really fun. You can just use the app called Markup. From here, we can get a ruler and draw straight edges and find lots of fun things. Let's draw them. Let's use a white, uh, a yellow color for here. Ah, what's that? Look at this. Already we can see prices underneath this trend line. So for it to go higher up here, it's going to be quite a, a little bit of a challenge. So keep that in mind. What other things? Take a look at this on the four hour chart. From here to here, we see price had some support in this area. Nice. We also see resistance and we saw the moment that price broke above that line. Take a look. If we had this break on high volume, that would have been a good sign for higher prices. There's many other calculations we can make on something like this. Take a look at this high. Hmm. Nice sign for a little higher prices. And then as we draw this one here, look at that. Price hit a resistance here. Nice. This is all on a four hour chart. I'm doing this live. Here's another one. This looks like a parabolic, which means we'd be watching this area. So let's draw that out straight and see if we can see anything. We don't have anything yet, but if price ever comes back down to this area, we may want to be on alert. Here's some other things. Let's draw this. That means we're going to be on our lookout oops, at the at this area where price cuts through. And look at this. We're on our way up to this resistance area. It's very possible that we could see a correction with USDT. If this falls, Bitcoin should fall as well. It's very easy to see on this chart some more truths. But what strengths do we have? Well. We have this long green line here, and we can see price sitting on that line and went up. But if we come back down to this level or break that level, that means that the screen line is weakening. These things I'm drawing for you real time so you can see what's happening. Now let's take a look at XRP. XRP on the four hour chart, we can see as becoming very dangerous. The main entry zone was here on the four hour chart. If we draw that as a support, we can see that price sat right on this line pretty accurately, and then we came back up. But now something is very dangerous. We didn't have a sword cut at this area marked here, this one. But look, when we came to that area, 
price kissed this, the resistance line, came and hard closed down under this blue line. This blue line is a special calculation I calculated. It's a strong line. But prices came and tried to push back up. Let's take a look at volume and see what's, what it's saying. Wow. For being a four hour chart, that's very tiny volume for such a long down bar. That means there's not much activity in this bar at all. So how can we be going up so much? It's very possible with one hour to go that this candle may end underneath this trend line or even back down here. Does this, does this bar have enough strength to push through a chain and make a change of behavior? Think about this. We came up here and we got out here. Price came all the way back down to its entry level. And now we're coming back up on the underside of this trend line. This is mighty suspicious. If price was going to go up, why did it wait to become weak before it would try to come up? Why is it not doing it here? Why didn't, if it was really strong, why didn't we bounce up here? To me, this looks like it's going to be a fake out shakeout. But this is another reason why I don't want to be an XRP at the moment. I really think that something is not right at the moment. Even though we had some great signals the other day, if price were to stay above that line, that would have been great. But we were warned. And I also put out some warning videos. If you didn't see them, you need to see them. And then price came down. So now on the four hour chart, we're watching this in live. I'm not going to be getting back into XRP just because it looks like we're going up. We should already be up, but some other things are at play. And we'll talk about more uh, about them from the prophetic side tomorrow. Also next week, bear in mind that next week we're going to be blessed by uh, Prophet Robin from Fireside Great Grace Ministries. I heard him talk about me on his channel the other day. He's going to be a guest star on our channel. We get him for about 45 minutes. So be looking for that video next week. It's going to be great to sit down and talk with him. We have a bunch of questions to, uh, to ask him. And uh, thank you everyone from the Telegram community for submitting those questions to uh, Mr. Sully and Mr. Brian. Uh, they have submitted those uh, requests to me. And so we're uh, going to be asking uh, some of the more popular questions or uh, pulling, pulling from the list. Forgive me if we don't answer all of your questions or yeah, ask all of your questions to Prophet Robin. We only have so much time. There is some resistance here at this level. And I drew the sword line, sword cut here. I'm now going to show you a chart that I sent to our chart room members, as well as our Telegram community. Take a look. This is the chart I showed. If XRP uh, comes up, it's possible we can come back down from this at this bottom red arrow. The other, net, the other thing we can do is we can come, come up to the blue line and come down to the blue teal baby blue line. If we're able to go up higher, we can get all the way up to this sword area and come down, or we can stop right underneath this white, white line, which has some core resistance levels. I see four times that it's very possible for price to come down. That is a very big battle. Again, let's look at that logically. Price can come down here, come down here, it could come down here, or it can wait till it gets to the sword cut area and come down there. Four reasons to come down. One, two, three, four. However, it would have been a lot easier to avoid those battles if price was going to go up by going up here. It would not have to had to worry about much else except for this sword cut. But now, as it is, because we broke under this point, we're coming back up with a sharp V. It doesn't look healthy and strong enough to go through. That's the things I see. Now, we never know what's going to happen with price all the way. But we can start piecing together the story by taking a look at USDT, looking at Bitcoin, and looking at XRP as well. This may seem, again, overwhelming. But if you're uh, part of the membership area, you can just click to become a member. And you'll get access to my notifications as I am watching these things. Forgive me at the moment if I'm not spending so much time looking at some of the other altcoins. Uh, I like to do those a lot on a Saturday, but I think this Saturday I'm going to take a, a, a little bit of a different approach. I'm going to be paying attention to the USDT screen for right now. If you want to know what's happening with your favorite altcoins, I really want you to pay attention to Bitcoin at the moment. I really believe that we could see, be seeing a, a sharp dip in Bitcoin to certain price areas before coming back up for the next bull run. We need to see how dangerous this drop can be. I don't know how much of a correction it will happen, but I do know where to look when we're coming for the entry. So for, for all of these, please see the last three videos I created. So anyway, guys, i like to thank you all for showing up and watching my videos. Uh, I'm also going to be trying to take some of the information and break it up into smaller videos so you can watch throughout your days or watch them more on your convenience. I do understand that watching uh, some videos that may be long can take a lot of, uh, a lot of your time, and I want to have some more bite-sized information. I throw a lot of information in some of my charting videos. So please watch those 
for tutorials, especially the tutorial videos where you can learn my process and how I draw. Last thing I want to say, even though with the, 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 the best technical analysis you can do, we have to keep our eyes open and you have to be flexible as a trader. I have to be uh, looking at everything and willing to exit my trade at a moment's notice, even if it was at a loss, which currently, if you have been following my trades and shadowing me, you shouldn't have lost at all. You should have still been making some profit. Uh, if you got in when I got in, and I made those information public to our membership area, as well as the Telegram page. I also let everyone know when I was in XTC and XLM, and I told those people, and I told everyone at the bottoms of those markets, and we hit those targets almost exactly. So uh, you should have made a killing in XRP, uh, XR, XDC and XLM. And I hope you guys did too. I hope you made a lot of money. Um, so I want you guys to be having a great time uh, as we're trading. And, uh, and just keep your prayers for me. Uh, these uh, charts are going to be proving very interesting. And though I'm upset that these data was missing so many things from Bitcoin's data, I'm very happy that we found a more accurate source of information. I think that these new charts is going to prove very valuable in determining the directions to come. So be looking for my newest videos coming out this week. Also be watching for my charts as I post them throughout the day, Monday through Saturday. I'll post daily updates for XRP and various other cryptos. And uh, if you guys are a supporting member, uh, you can from time to time ask me uh, for a specific chart. Maybe don't take a, too much advantage of it. If you have a, a long list of cryptos that you say, hey, can you chart this? I'll, I'll uh, provide a map for you. I will say that I can. I will take a big notice of people who are uh, value, valuing my time with their own resources. If you really appreciate your time and um, you know, if you're just giving uh, 50 cents and you want me to do, uh, you know, five charts for you or something that may be taken advantage. If you really appreciate something, you usually show your, your gratitude and uh, and I'm grateful for that. Um, sometimes you don't have money or things like that. And that's perfectly fine. I'll still do. I'll still put out some of those charts. I, you people can make requests and uh, I won't promise that I'll get them uh, to you right away. But usually within about a week, uh, I'll make some of these charts so you guys can have them at uh, to, to see throughout the week. I'll draw them on the daily charts. And remember, each candle is only a day, so you really only need those maps updated once once a day. If you have the maps, they don't really change much. However, if you want the best indicator, be looking right now at USDT.D uh, and how it will affect Bitcoin, because that's how it will mostly affect the altcoin situations. Uh, there are some coins that have other factors involved, such as coins like Shiba. Uh, Shiba has a, a method where they're constantly printing more coins, so coins that don't have a cap can be dangerous. Um, but there are times when there there's times to buy Shiba and, and other coins. So we'll talk more about that in other videos. Again, thank you very much. Uh, let me say a prayer and a blessing for you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your, for your guidance and your wisdom. Lord, I want to say a special blessing for everyone who's been praying for me. Even when I was sick the other day, I was very sick. And you sent a lot of people praying my way. And I'm, I'm just so grateful and I'm very humble um, that so many people decided to, to take time out of their day to pray uh, for me and my situation and then pray for my body. Lord, I thank you. And I pray that you would also be with them and guide them as they're going through uh, their days. There's so much uh, information. There's so much volatility that's in the market. But perhaps you made me for such a time as this uh, to, to play a role in this season for these things. And I pray that you raise up others, God, and continue to give more dreams about the cryptocurrencies and, and give pro powerful prophetic words to the people in these communities, Lord, that you'll minister to each one each and every one of them, releasing them to understand what's happening and releasing them to 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 receive a powerful uh, vision from you or a powerful word from the Lord that their spirits will learn how to hear from you, God, and that they will be able to understand and know things that would happen that would be beyond what we can calculate. For you knew the times and you knew the seasons better than anyone. In Joseph's day, Lord, you gave the king dreams about the famine to come, but also about the years of plenty. And though they were experiencing years of plenty, they were also given wisdom to prepare for those years, uh, for the years of famine by, by trading and collecting wise during the years of plenty. God, you gave this wisdom to uh, the king and you gave this wisdom to Joseph and you showed him how to save an entire people. You used him for that time. And so, Lord, I pray that you would use many here that are under the sound of my voice, that they would be able to hear these things in advance and know these things and be able to best position themselves financially for the, for the time and seasons to come. I pray that you would just bless them and, and, and take care of them. Love them, Lord. Make your face to shine upon them. Look upon them with favor. Be abounding in grace to them. Uh, be gracious, Lord. Lift up your countenance toward them and give them peace. And please, Lord, baptize them in your Holy Spirit fire. Give them strong fire, Lord. And let them be vessels for you, 
upon the earth, Lord. Let them be resources for you. Give them peace in their minds. Give them peace and understanding. Give them uh, not just wisdom, Lord, but give them a peace that goes beyond understanding. Lord, I thank you for all the dreams that people have been sending me. I thank you for all the dreams that they've been having. I thank you for the dreams they're going to continue to have. We thank you, Lord, that you're helping position your children for one of the greatest wealth transfers in history. We thank you for, yes, XRP, Lord. We're thankful for, for XRP, for the opportunities you give us. We're also thankful for all the other blessings and all the other cryptocurrencies that you revealed ahead of time to your prophets, Lord, to your children, and to even those with gifts of prophecy, Lord. You've, you've revealed to us what's going to be happening in the world. And we thank you, Lord, for just helping us to change and transform our financial lives and our financial situations and to help them break free from debt and to destroy the, the enslavement system of money and finance upon this world. And by doing a new thing and a new season, Lord, you have been so good to us. You've been so good to them. And if they haven't stopped to thank you today, Lord, may they stop. And may they thank you because you're good. And there's no better way to put it. I bless them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, team. You guys make it a great weekend, and uh, I'll be catching you guys tomorrow. See you.